Cassie is quietly working on reviving her music career after it was stalled by her ex-boyfriend and alleged abuser Sean Diddy Combs for more than two decades. Disgraced rapper Combs, 54, is currently behind bars after he was charged with a host of sex trafficking and racketeering offenses following his September 16 arrest. As it stands, he will remain in prison ahead of his May 2025 trial. Me and You singer Cassie, 38, played a pivotal role in Combs' downfall after she accused him of repeated physical abuse and rape in a bombshell $30 million lawsuit last November. DailyMail.com this week unearthed a disturbing cache of photographs showing her with what appeared to be bruises on her forehead and a black eye back in 2013, three years before Diddy abused her in a hotel lobby. She is now turning her attention to a musical comeback, with the mother of two recently registering a new song and weighing up whether to drop tracks from her vault of unreleased music, Cassie is considering making a comeback to music now that Diddy is behind bars and some of the executives who were his lackeys are resigning, a source exclusively told DailyMail.com. She couldn't have imagined her career would have been stalled in the way it was when her first album came out, but she has so many unreleased records that she wants to release if the timing and business is right. They added, her collaborators have been informed of this, so the royalty splits have been agreed. The revelation comes after Cassie, real name Cassie Ventura, made amendments to a track titled into it in May this year, which she had initially registered with Universal Music back in 2010. More recently in August, she registered a new song, Midnight Hour, with the record label. R&B singer Cassie had been in a long-term on-off relationship with Combs for 11 years. They secretly started dating in 2007, two years after first meeting when Cassie was just 19. Their romance became public knowledge in Two Inches 2006, one year before they began their romance. Cassie signed to Combs' label Bad Boy Records to release her debut single Me and You. That same year, she went on to release her self-titled and first and only album. Between 2008 and 2009, Cassie released three singles, Official Girl featuring Lil Wayne, must Be Love featuring Combs, and Let's Get Crazy featuring Akon. After a four-year gap, she then dropped her debut mixtape Rockabye Baby in 2013, before eventually leaving Combs' Bad Boy Records in 2019. Cassie's inconsistent music distributes did not go unnoticed, with Vibe deputy editor Clover Hope commenting that her obscurity was hurting her image. As per The Daily Beast, he wrote of the artist, People don't know what to make of her because they don't know anything about her. Cassie filed a lawsuit against Combs for rape and of repeated physical abuse over about a decade on November 16, 2023, which indirectly explained her musical elusiveness. In the filing, she claimed that just before the end of their relationship, he forced his way into her home and raped her. Point zero. They split in 2018 March. Shocking surveillance footage emerged, showing Combs violently attacking Cassie at the Intercontinental Hotel in Century City. Los Angeles Hotel in 2016. Combs, wearing only a towel, can be seen chasing her down the hall before grabbing her at the back of the head and slamming her into the ground. Cassie addressed the chilling video in a statement which read, Thank you for all of the love and support from my family, friends, strangers and those I have yet to meet. The outpouring of love has created a place for my younger self to settle and feel safe now. But this is only the beginning. Domestic violence is the issue. It broke me down to someone I never thought I would become. With a lot of hard work, I am better today, but I will always be recovering from my past. At the time of Combs' arrest last month, a source close to Cassie, who married fitness trainer Alex Fine in 2019, said it had not been a cause for celebration for her. She is relieved that the case has escalated, but she isn't celebrating, the insider told DailyMail.com. She is upset that people didn't listen to other alleged victims in the 90s because she would have been spared. Cassie is taking time away to focus on her piece because the details of the case are triggering, the source added. She was also said to be hurt by the baby oil jokes and memes made after federal agents claimed they confiscated 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant from Combs Homes in Miami and Los Angeles, believed to be used in his freak-offs. <laughs>